Nuclear warheads by country, starting in the 1950s, of course. So the U.S. way out ahead. They have over 10,000 already by 1960. And then here comes the Russians or the Soviet Union at that time. By the end of the 60s and early 70s, they're starting to gain. I know that the USA really stops. And then here we go. In, up until the 80s, the Soviet Union gets a ton. And they really start to skyrocket. See, the U.S. is actually going down. They're actually getting rid of uh, a lot of their devices. And the Russians start to kind of go down a little bit. Look at Ukraine pop up there for like a split second. So in 1991 when the Soviet Union collapsed, there were Kazakhstan and Ukraine that all of a sudden popped up on the list. They gave back their devices and then immediately dropped back down to out of the list. As we head on into the 2000s, again, the numbers are dropping overall, but the Russians still have almost 20,000. And here we are into 2010. They're going to keep, I think, the number one spot, I believe. I thought they did. Oh, yeah, they do keep the number one spot, but it's actually way closer now.